the sparks are flying. And so are the robots. We are able to attack the other teams with a lot of force, a lot of speed. It's a clash of titanium titans at the Alliance for Working Together Robobotics competition. If other teams have sharp corners, just go in for their weak spots as soon as possible. The high school combat robotics competition allows high schools to partner with industry mentors to build 15-pound combat robots. Combat robotics really can go anyway. So whether you're talking about a student who just loves welding, they can immediately get a job with one of their company sponsors, you know, to be a welder or to be a machinist. The Alliance for Working Together promotes careers in manufacturing. You say manufacturing, people think old, dark, dirty, dangerous, dead-end career, but that's just not true in American modern-day manufacturing. All while combating a shortage of skilled workers. These are the kind of jobs where most of these people will also help them participate in college funding so that they can end up working for five years, end up with a college degree, and no debt. So what makes a good combat robot? Not a lot of sharp edges, um, a strong weapon, um, a good distribution of weight. Beaumont School's robot Maverick is one of two all-girls teams competing, and they've got their rise on the top spot. Well, it really just makes you want to win even more. you got to show that girls can be in competitions like this, and they can do robotics too. But the ultimate goal, collaboration, coordination, and teamwork. And it's great to see these young minds manufacturing putting things together, working as a team. Don't ever give up. Keep thinking. Keep learning. Reporting for News 5, I'm John Rutter.